One of my YouTube subscribers asked me how to use the Curve Network in the Rhino and I would like to use this opportunity to explain how to use it and what is the limitation and also compare with the very common uh, surface commands called Loft. Hi, I'm PJ Chen, an authorized Rhino trainer. Let's get started. <music> We're going to starting with the loft command. The first one that we have is three the same curve. It go from the left to the right. They're going into one direction. To creating the surface in between the three curve, we can go into the surface. And then here we have loft icon, or you can go to the menu on the top. And the second one is loft. You can pick all of them as, at the same time. If you like to pick one by one, make sure you pick in the older. Then you will create some sort of a surface like this. It's really nice and smooth and clean. Okay. Uh, the most common question that I have is, are those lines has to be touch each other? No, they don't have to. Let's do left command again. You can right click and that will bring in the previous uh, command that you just use. And again, we want to pick all three at the same time, or you want to pick in the older. Then you will follow the curve and having uh, the surface like that. Now the restriction that we have here is, uh, and th this is also another very common um, question from my student, is they trying to use the left command but doesn't work. And one of the situations is like this, you have one open curve and you have one closed curve. The Rhino cannot figure out which one is the one you are going to follow. So this is what you're going to get. We're gonna use the left command and you click this one and this one and it says unable to left on the top. They will say select either open or closed curve. You cannot have both of them. So in this case, it won't work. All right, so let's take a look on the network surface. Surface network, um, the command is living under the surface and then you have curve network surface. That's the uh, correct name for it. Now for the limitation or requirement for curve network is you need to have two directions. So this one, this one, and this one, they are actually in the direction of left to the right. Okay, and then you need to give another di direction from this point to that point. So if we simply we can say the direction one's from left to the right, the one is from top to the bottom. Okay, so we're giving two direction. We're going to the surface and we're going to curve network. So we pick up all of them at once. Now you will come up this window here. Uh, you can make them really lose all the position. Let's set in the position first and see what happened. Click OK. And then you will see this uh, very nice curve. Uh, the, we can also tell the difference compared to the loft and also the curve network. It's the curve network you've got more control due to you have this additional curve. So you can control the curvature on this side. However, on the loft command, uh, you cannot control that unless you want to turn on the control point, which is F10 is the hotkey, or you can click a point on, and you try to edit, you know, individual like this way, then you can still control it, but that way give you more control on the, on the surface. Now the question also is, can they not be touching? So let me hide this first. All right. So if I have all of this, and they are not touching, and um, I want to have the curve network where they work. No, they won't work is because they still consider one direction, right? So if you look at here from left to the right, they have one direction. We need to have two directions. So I edit up two little um, arc here, and let's take a look what happened. Let's go to the surface, curve network, and then we select all of them at once and then we hit enter. You can preview it if you like to, okay? So now we have this surface. So you may be um, curious about, okay, what about the situation like this? 
I have one, two, three, and I have another direction here. This is the another common um, question that my students have. I follow all the requirements. They go from the left to the right, top to the bottom. They have two um, curvature here. And let's take a look on the command curve network. And like what PJ say, I select all of them. Well, it's showing you select first curve in the first direction. Anything like that as showing you it's not working, no matter how you select it. Okay, so the reason it's not working is curve network, you need to give a boundary. So for example, I'm going to create the arc uh, and it's going to go from the, make sure the near is on and I wanna go from here to here to anywhere, for example, here. And then the other one can be anywhere and I wanna go here. All right, and then, so we're gonna use the curve network again, and then we're gonna select all of them. All right, so then it's working now. It, it will work within the boundary like this. Okay, you may also wonder, like PJ, do they have to be touching all the time? It's not necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy this guy to do one, more example and then what we like to do I'm gonna move this one out and move that one out a little bit so none of them is actually touching okay so let's do the surface and go to curve network surface and then we pick all of them and let's click OK so you kind of notice that it's not reaching on any of them exactly Right now is somehow to find where the middle ground and calculate the average in between. Just want to give you a recap for the curve network. You need to have two curvature. Um, they are going in left to the right, top to the bottom. Compared to the left, they can be only one direction. I hope I answered your question. Please uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. Or if you have any other question about Rhino 3D software, I will do my best to make a video for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share that helped me to create more video. See you next Monday.